All right, so we are here at Crane's Snowmobile Museum in Lancaster, New Hampshire. Today is February the 2nd, 2019, and we're at his annual, Paul Crane's annual vintage snowmobile show. Paul Crane's the owner of the Snowmobile Museum. And uh, people are just starting to pull in here. There'll be people pulling in here over the next couple of hours. And here's somebody now. Let me get out of his way. Bet he's got more than one sled in there. So over the next couple of hours, we'll probably have a 50 or 100 sleds here. So as far as the sleds that are here, let's take a quick walk by and see what we have. There's an RXL, an old 650TX. How's it going? Good. How many of those have you seen? None, that's my first one. Is this yours? Yeah, my son's. Oh, nice. I do a lot of videos on, on on the internet. Do you feel like talking that up a little? Just say my name is, my name is and this is a... Oh, let me give my son that's his. All right. Yeah, Good you job. can talk it up. Yeah. Uh, he'll probably tell you the story. He's chasing that for three years. He's really? See, he's seen it at a show, and a guy wanted like $1,800 for it. He says, I oh, paid $1,800 for oh. that sled. And he finally chased it down, and... We went out in Mass, use it someplace. Day trip when we get it. We get that. We get that in the sled far low behind it. Yeah. They made three sleds: a purple one, a, blue, a maroon one, and a blue one. We wow. Get, we get the purple one team with this. Wow. This is. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. I like that Puma. Thanks. That's nice. Is that yours? Yeah. yeah. I do a lot of videos on the internet. Do you feel like talking that up? I've seen you on there. Oh, good. <laughs> You're up at the Vermont one in there a little while ago. Yeah, totally. Yeah. In Washington, yeah. yeah I, see you, I see you on there all the time on the videos. Nice. I'm glad you watch it. Yeah. I'll give you a, a business call. I, I gotta go in and get some there, not okay. in my pocket, I, but I'll, get, I'll give you one before the yeah. day's over. Okay. But do you feel like talking it up? Just my name is and this is my Puma and just like you're telling a friend about it? Sure. All right, yeah, we'll go over next to it and... <coughs> I've, got some, I've got one, I want you to sign it out though. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. It's beautiful. So did you used to race this, is that? No, no, my dad used to race. Oh, wow. He's in 25th, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Let me try to get this better focus here. Wow, so is there a story behind that or? Yeah, my grandfather owned Rodco. In Randolph, Vermont, the oh, Arctic Cat distributor. Yeah. And so my dad met his daughter, ended up marrying her, and ended up racing for Rodco back in the late 60s and early 70s. Wow. And, you know, he raced the King Cats and the EXTs, and that was pretty much it. Wow, those are legendary. So 
He was good in his day. Yeah. Yeah, he was one of the best. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So. And is this one of the ones that he raised? No, or? but this is this is an original that a guy down in Branchy, Vermont, bought from my grandfather in 1970, and um, he raced around the, the local backyard races back then. And other than painting the tank, it's it's pretty much original. You can see the holes where they tried to do different things with pipes. In oh it yes, yeah. They had Montana pipes on it or something. No, or? just straight pipes out the side. Yeah. Yeah, they had a megaphone you outside. Like it's all inside. original inside. So. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? That's nice. Wow. So a little piece of history anyways. Yeah. Let me uh, come on it from the back here. Yeah, I'd like to have you sign it. I've got a Sharpie on me if you need one. Do you need a Sharpie? Alright. Yeah. Sure. Oh, let me see you get a copy.